like I said, just to look at it over there, like it's such a tease because like that was going to be me in a couple weeks. Riley Barnes said Noah's event venue was her dream venue for her wedding to her best friend. She booked it in January of 2019 for February 28th. But Saturday, she woke up to text messages from friends that her venue had shut down. I'm feeling terrible, <laughs> overwhelmed. We have two and a half weeks to find another venue, another ceremony area. Kelsey Wiltman was set to marry at Noah's on April 4th. She found out from her caterer that Noah's was a no-go. That's something that you have bad dreams about or that's something you see in a movie or on TV and you think, man, that sucks, but you never would think it happens to you. The company, which owns 28 venues across the country, filed for bankruptcy last year. On Friday, a judge ruled it shouldn't book additional events or accept payments, so without an income, they shut down. I sent countless emails, countless phone calls, just pleading to just talk to me, tell me what's going on, and they can't even give us that. It's just terrible. Noah's and Cranberry was holding their last wedding on Saturday, and when I walked over to see if anyone from Noah's could talk to us, security said no, as these brides say they feel betrayed. Planning a wedding is a financial strain to begin with. Um, everyone's coming from different walks of life, just trying to bring, you know, the most important day of their life to life. And um, to know that we've been taken advantage of in our most vulnerable state is a shame.